Welcome everyone to a very quick Lightroom tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over very briefly how to create a panorama with Lightroom. Okay, so to start this off, I've got Lightroom open and there are these six images here which I shot in a panorama. Uh, so uh, the reason I did that is I was too close to the subject, there was no way to get back farther, so the only option I had was to take multiple tighter shots. So I took them and as you can see I overlapped all of them by about 50% when taking them. So if you do this uh, in Lightroom, just have them all selected, right click the first one, and you, we can come down to Photo Merge and there is an option called Panorama. You can also do HDR panoramas if you did focus stacking when you took your images. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just doing a panorama. Okay, so after opening them up, it'll load it and give you a preview of what's gonna happen. Uh, so we've got a few different options here and depending on your specific image will depend on which of these options you're gonna wanna choose. Uh, so just to go through them, this is what spherical would look like for my image. The cylindrical, pretty similar, and perspective. And to be completely honest, I like the perspective just because there is the most room right up here. And for the sake of this image and because my horizon line looks very crooked, I, I want as much room to crop this as possible. So then we have boundary warp. Uh, boundary warp will it'll skew your image to make it fit in the panor in the entire frame. Uh, you can also fill edges and it will try to do it, but as you'll notice on this image, it did kind of a terrible, terrible job right up in here. So definitely don't want to do that for this one. You also have the option to crop and it'll just crop in uh, so that your picture has no unused space. You can use auto settings and just put automatic settings on it. Frankly, I don't know why you wouldn't do that in development afterwards, but if you're just rushing through, then that is an option. So I don't want auto crop for this and I don't want fill edges. I'm going to choose boundary warp because as I said, I, I like how it kind of straightens out my horizon line and leaves me a little bit of cropping room. So once you have made your selection over here, uh, whichever of those settings you want, uh, then we click merge and it will take a little bit of time and up here you'll notice it is now creating a panorama file. So I'll give this just a second to create it and I'll show you the result. Okay, and a little bit of time has passed and our panorama is created. Uh, so now, since I had the group into stack thing selected, it is now one of seven and the panorama is the cover image. Okay, so this is what the image looks like. And as I said, I did want to crop this slightly. That is why I did this to some degree. So I just kind of want to take it and I want to align the image with the icicles and kind of use those as my straight lines because those always go straight down. So good thing to line this up off of. So I want something on this order. Not necessarily this, uh, but just kind of straighten it out a little bit and make it look a little better because the panorama kind of skewed it slightly. Okay, so that is pretty much everything you need to know to make a panorama. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is, I, well, that was the image. After a little bit of editing, I, here's what I ended up coming out with. Uh, the other thing you can do is uh, if you, this will also work if you have a whole bunch of pictures. So as you'll notice, I've got this other stack saved in Lightroom here and opened up. 
Uh, we have the first six pictures are the same ones we just did, and then there's also another row up above and then some trees. So just to show an example, you can stack your panoramas however you want, whatever images you have, Lightroom does a really awesome job. Uh, there are other ways to do it. You can use Photoshop and masks, but uh, normally this works. Uh, if something else comes up, maybe then go into a different option. But yeah, for the most part, this is how I create 90% of the panoramas I do. So yeah, with that, I am really not sure what else to say. Uh, so hopefully this has been of use to you uh, and you now understand everything about creating a panorama with Lightroom. Uh, if you do and this has helped or you wanna see more content like this, definitely, as always, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons and hopefully I will see you later.